Hello friends, this video on photosynthesis in higher plants part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about the hatch and slack pathway. So hatch and slack pathway is again a multi-step process. So here also multiple steps are involved. So let us see what are the steps through which a hatch and slack pathway happens. Carbon dioxide fixation and reduction in mesophyll cells. Now these two steps are little similar to what happens in case of Calvin cycle but it happens in the mesophyll cells. So where are the mesophyll cells? In these cells. So here carbon dioxide fixation and reduction will happen. Transport to bundle sheet cells. So from the mesophyll cells it will get transported to the bundle sheet cells. So these are the bundle sheet cells. Then decarboxylation in bundle sheet cells. In the bundle sheet cells decarboxylation will happen and then transport back to mesophyll cells. So you see transport plays an important role here. So transportation between bundle sheath and mesophyll cells happen in a hatch and slack pathway. So now we will try to understand each step in a detailed manner. So let us start with okay and the last step is obviously regeneration because it is a cycle so it has to go back to the first step from where it started. So let us start with fixation in mesophyll cells. So here what is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor? Like in Calvin cycle the primary carbon dioxide acceptor was RUBP that is ribulose biphosphate. But in this case which is a primary carbon dioxide acceptor? Now who should be a carbon dioxide acceptor? This acceptor will accept carbon dioxide and it forms a 4 carbon organic acid. So this is one carbon so this should be three carbon that is our assumption. Now let us see if the assumption is correct. Now the primary carbon dioxide acceptor is PEP. What is PEP? It is phosphoenol pyruvic acid and this is a three carbon compound. So this assumption is correct. So this is a three carbon compound. So phosphoenol pyruvic acid is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor here. So in this step what happens? There is an enzyme called PEP carboxylase or which is also known as PEPase. So this uh, enzyme will act on this primary uh, carbon dioxide acceptor PEP and this will result in the formation of a 4 carbon compound. What is the 4 carbon compound? That is oxaloacetic acid which is a 4 carbon compound. So what happens? It starts with PEP which is phosphoenol pyruvic acid and this takes in carbon dioxide and it forms oxaloacetic acid. So this is a 3 carbon compound and this is a 4 carbon compound. And where does this take place? It takes place in the mesophyll cells. Now here if you observe the enzyme which is required is PEP carboxylase. So Rubisco is not required and as I mentioned in mesophyll cells Rubisco is not at all there. Right? So this is how carbon dioxide fixation will take place in mesophyll cells. Now reduction will happen in mesophyll cells. Now what did we get? We got oxaloacetic acid which is a 4 carbon compound. Now this oxaloacetic acid will get reduced to malic acid. And malic acid is again a 4 carbon compound. And high energy electrons of NADPH are utilized in this step. So in this case what will happen? In the previous step oxaloacetic acid which was a 4 carbon compound was formed. Now this will get reduced to malic acid. So this reduces to malic acid which is again a 4 carbon compound. Now in, while this conversion for this reduction to take place it will utilize the high energy electrons of NADPH. So this NADPH will get converted to NADP plus and those high electro energy electrons will be utilized for this reduction. The enzyme which is involved in this process is malic dehydrogenase. This is the enzyme involved here. 
Now the manic acid which is produced now, this is also produced in the mesophyll cells. It is produced in the mesophyll cells but now the malic acid will be transported to bundle sheet cells. So till now we were in the mesophyll cell. This was mesophyll cell. And now let us suppose this is your plasmodesmata and from here starts the bundle sheet cells. So what will happen? This malic acid will get transported into the bundle sheet cells. Now bundle sheet cell is the one which has Rubisco enzyme. So in bundle sheet cell, Calvin cycle can take place. Right? Now let us see what happens to the malic acid after it gets transported to the bundle sheet cells. Now again a fixation will happen in the bundle sheet cells. Let us see what happens. The malic acid is decarboxylated to pyruvic acid. So malic acid which is a 4 carbon compound will get decarboxylated. That means carbon dioxide will be removed from malic acid. So one carbon will be removed so it will become a 3 carbon compound that is pyruvic acid. So as I mentioned before, so right now we are in the bundle sheet cells. We have come out of the mesophyll cells. So here the malic acid has entered and this malic acid now gets converted into pyruvic acid. So the malic acid was a 4 carbon compound and this pyruvic acid is a 3 carbon compound. So decarboxylation is just the opposite of carboxylation. Carboxylation means adding carbon dioxide and decarboxylation means removing it. So the enzyme which is involved here is malic enzyme. So please remember the names of the enzyme so that you know which enzyme is involved in which step. So their product here is pyruvic acid and also CO2. As I said decarboxylation means carbon dioxide is removed. So carbon dioxide is released. So carbon dioxide is also a byproduct of this step. Now what happens to this carbon dioxide and what happens to the pyruvic acid? Now an important point to be noted here is that this carbox, carbon dioxide which is produced here, this carbon dioxide enters the Calvin cycle. For Calvin cycle to take place, what do you need? The first step of Calvin cycle is carbon dioxide fixation. Now in case of C3 plants, that carbon dioxide used to come from the atmosphere. But here in case of C4 plants, the carbon dioxide for Calvin cycle will come from the C4 pathway. So this carbon dioxide will be used up in the Calvin cycle and then the Calvin cycle will also take place in these cells and as a result of Calvin cycle sugar will be produced. That is why I told that even in C4 plants the main pathway which results in the formation of sugar is Calvin cycle and not the hatch and slack pathway. So hatch and slack pathway only provides carbon dioxide for the Calvin cycle to start in the bundle sheet cells because here in the mesophyll cells we do not have the required enzyme that is Rubisco is missing in the mesophyll cells that is why it prepares something else in the mesophyll cells transports it to the bundle sheet cells then produces carbon dioxide which is able to initiate the Calvin cycle clear okay so now this carbon dioxide is utilized for C3 pathway. C3 pathway is nothing but a Calvin cycle and this Calvin cycle will result in the synthesis of sugar. So please have a clear understanding of this that in C4 plants, C4 pathway will take place as well as Calvin cycle will take place. But Calvin cycle will take place only in the bundle sheet cells. Therefore, First, the entire process will start as hatch and slack pathway in the mesophyll cells. Then they will produce malic acid and the malic acid will enter into the bundle sheet cells through the plasmodesmata. And in the bundle sheet cells, carbon dioxide will be produced which will be utilized for Calvin cycle. So the basic sugar synthesis pathway is Calvin cycle for all C3 as well as C4 plants. Now the electrons releases convert NADP plus back to NADPH. Now you remember in the previous step in the, uh, in the mesophyll cells, NADPH was utilized to form NADP plus. 
Now here during this step, when this step occurs, some electrons are released which converts NADP plus back to NADPH. So that whatever electrons were taken up that time will now be given back. Now pyruvic acid which is produced is transported back to mesophyll cells through plasmodesmata. Again you have the mesophyll cells here and this is the plasmodesmata. Right, this is mesophyll cells and this is bundle sheet. So now this pyruvic acid which is formed here, this pyruvic acid will be sent back through the plasmodesmata into the mesophyll layer. So the purpose of the entire cycle entering into the bundle sheet cell is to provide the carbon dioxide and initiate the Calvin cycle. Now what happens to this pyruvic acid? Let us see, that is the last step that is regeneration in mesophyll cells. Now again we are into the mesophyll cells and now we are left with pyruvic acid in the mesophyll cells. So this is this was your bundle sheet and this is your mesophyll, this is plasmodesmata. So now what happened, the pyruvic acid has entered back to the mesophyll cells. So this pyruvic acid will now be phosphorylated to form PEP that is phosphoenol pyruvate that is the first or the starting step of the C4 cycle. Now by which process? By phosphorylation that is it will utilize ATP and ATP will get converted into ADP and this extra phosphate will get, get added to pyruvic acid to form PEP. So pyruvic acid was a 3 carbon compound right and this PEP which is formed what is it? This is again a 3 carbon compound only the phosphate will increase here. Here, so that is how the cycle will complete because this is where the entire process started. From here only it started. Right, so this is the entire hatch and slack pathway. So here the enzyme which helps in the conversion of pyruvic acid to PEP is pyruvic dikinase. ATP molecules are utilized in this step as I mentioned before. So here also if you look at the entire hatch and slack pathway, you will see that ATP molecules are utilized at this step. NADPH molecules were also utilized in the reduction step, right? Now let us quickly have a quick review of the entire process which we discussed so far. So here you can see this is the mesophyll cell, light green in color and the dark green color is the bundle sheet cell. Now what happens? The process starts at the mesophyll cell where atmospheric carbon dioxide is taken in and carbon dioxide fixation will take place. So the first thing from where the process starts is the phosphoenol pyruvate or PEP. So PEP is the starting point. So this PEP will take in carbon dioxide or carboxylation will take place and this will form oxaloacetic acid. The C4 acid, 4 carbon acid is oxaloacetic acid. This oxaloacetic acid will get converted into malic acid and the malic acid will be transported through the plasmodesmata into the bundle sheet cells. Now here in the bundle sheet cells, the malic acid will undergo decarboxylation. So this was malic acid, this C4 acid. After decarboxylation, it will form a C3 acid that is pyruvic acid and it will also release CO2. So this CO2 will start the Calvin cycle. And it will, this will start the process of Calvin cycle and from Calvin cycle, glucose will be synthesized. And the remaining pyruvic acid will again go back to the mesophyll cells through the plasmodesmata. In the mesophyll cells again it will regenerate to form PEP in presence of an enzyme called pyruvic dikinase. And during this process ATP will be utilized. So this is the entire process of hatch and slack pathway which is again a cyclic process. So I hope now it is clear what are C4 plants and what are C3 plants, what are the differences in the process of photosynthesis in case of a C3 plant and a C4 plant. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, 
get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.